Test your knowledge. Join Traders Academy today. This lesson is to enable you to easily open a chart and understand the various elements of the display. We will explain the chart layout and show you how to access configuration menus and shortcuts so that you can quickly redesign the time period of any chart or swiftly add relevant studies. By the end of this lesson you should be comfortable with opening a chart from TWS Mosaic and know how to access the chart settings menu in order to add or remove data or values or how to add a secondary series or a simple study. Later we will focus on global configuration so that you can set defaults for charts and learn what to look for within configuration settings. There are at least four easy ways to access a chart from TWS Mosaic. Pay attention to this quick tip at the outset. Whenever you create a new chart, TWS will open the chart parameters dialog box from which you can configure the display and time frame. In a moment I will display this box on screen but then show you how to turn it off for speedier chart selection. You can always return to it from any chart display. First, because tiles are color linked, clicking on a ticker in a tile that has the same color group as a chart on the same page will automatically create a chart anywhere in TWS. You can see that the chart updates to the current ticker each time I select a different one from the monitor. Remember, this chart window is integrated into your Mosaic workspace. You can enlarge it, but ultimately it can't permanently be positioned on a secondary screen. Second, right click on a ticker to reveal a floating icon. You may choose the chart icon here to boot up a standalone chart window. Here is that chart parameters box I briefly mentioned a moment ago. We'll discuss this shortly, but so that I can show you some of these shortcuts, I will check the box to the lower left of the panel. This means that we can bypass the chart parameters box whenever opening a new chart. You should get used to TWS charts before doing this. This chart can now be repositioned on a secondary screen if you wish. Again, clicking right on the ticker symbol will reveal a menu from which you may follow the tree through charts and new chart. Again, this is a separate display and can be positioned on another display monitor if you choose to do so. Finally, highlight a ticker on screen and use the blue New Window button in the upper left corner of the screen and locate Chart under Technical Analytics and select Chart from the tree to open a new chart window. Again, this will display a standalone chart for you to configure. Chart Parameters Settings any newly requested chart will open with the underlying settings or parameters you most recently selected. For example, if you last changed the requested time from a six-month bar chart to a three-month candlestick chart, the next chart you open will be for a three-month candlestick chart. TWS will retain your settings automatically so that you can avoid constantly having to reconfigure each chart. If you bypass the chart settings dialog panel, you can always return to it from any chart using the edit drop down menu and select chart parameters. This dialog box enables you to do many things, so let's take a quick tour of the layout of this panel. Remember, whatever you check here will be reproduced in any chart until you make a change. Beneath the chart settings description, you will see four tabs. Chart parameters allows you to determine the display content for the underlying security. The Studies tab is where you will find a huge variety of technical studies to add to the display. You can compare your underlying to another using the Secondary Series tab. And you can choose from a variety of index values to compare your selected security from the Index Comparisons tab. Most of the time, people want to look at a single security, so let's use this as a starting point on the Chart Parameters tab. You will notice across the top of this panel, beneath the four tabs, are three buttons to display either a single financial instrument, combined financial instruments, or virtual securities. An example of this might be the quotient of two competing stocks. For a single ticker, if the underlying entry field is not already populated, you can do so here. Select Stock and Smart for destination. Below, determine the time frame and frequency for what you want to display. From the time period drop-down, you will see that there are two colored boxes. Above in blue is the bar or candle size, depending on what you have selected from the bar type drop-down menu. Below in pink is a further time period box. I'm going to select the two-month candle chart and click Apply to view the resulting chart. 
Note that by clicking Apply rather than OK, I can maintain the Chart Settings menu and make additional choices with this box open. If you lose the box and want to reopen it, it's under the Edit menu and Chart Parameters. For example, if you want to know what the midpoint would look like in your display, select it from the Additional Data and Features menu and click Apply. Deselect it if you want to remove it and click the Apply button. You can test several choices to see how they appear and whether you want to retain them in the display. You may notice several boxes are greyed out when the selection does not apply. For example, some option related data could only be shown on the display when selecting the option price data. You may display option volume broken out into call and put values by underlying, and you can also display historic volatility for a security and the associated implied volatility derived from its options on the same display. Note that there are two references to volume for your display. Selecting volume will include volume bars below the chart from intraday to the maximum history TWS will allow. However, the selection for volume histogram is only available for intraday time frames and will display as a stack to the right of the chart. As soon as the time frame is changed to display data for at least one day, the volume histogram will disappear. The maximum period supporting the volume histogram is eight hours. Remember, if you make any selections here, TWS will remember your choice for future charts. We will discuss the quote zone, quote panel, and bar detail zone later when learning how to configure your charts. But note for now that these are selections on this panel. Also notice that there are selections for a buttons panel and for chart trader. These need to be enabled in order to make trades directly from charts. But you'll get an idea of what each does when selecting and clicking apply to see how the display changes. More on these features later. Another useful feature is the logarithmic scale selection. This will be of most use when examining charts displayed over longer time periods or with a large price range. Log charts try to common size the price scale to keep price movement comparable. In this example, note the difference between price and log scales as I turn the setting on and off. You may add VWAP to price bars from the additional data fields, and from the Highlight on Chart selection, you may highlight your own trades within a bar as dashes or triangles to help more easily identify your entry and exit points over time. In the line below, users can determine what values could be highlighted on the y-axis, such as bid ask, high low, or last prices, or the value associated with the position of the cursor. At the bottom of the chart settings display page are chart time options. You will probably want to keep your charts up to date, but also show data outside of regular trading hours. Note that this is very useful when watching stock index futures that have multiple overnight or intraday sessions. Remember that these sessions will remain fixed unless you change them, and if you need to do so, access this menu from the edit dropdown on the chart. There is a lot more to configuring TWS charts, but the aim of this introductory lesson was to show you the various methods of opening a chart and how to locate and drive display choices from the chart settings menu.